Welcome back to Ligari. We have another awesome video for you. We're going to be showing you how to create this look on your counters with kit number two. We used a white base with gold metallic spray paint. Check out the description below to purchase your custom kit today. All right, so we're getting ready to do kit two. We're gonna be doing our white base and then we're gonna be taking gold spray paint, turn it into a liquid form, and we're gonna use that for our highlights. So really cool technique here. Again, like we always try to keep these beads when they level out the same thickness. This one's maybe a little skinny here, but that's all right. <clears throat> so, roller's been de-shedded, so we got any loose roller hairs off it. And now we're just gonna start moving the epoxy around. Okay, so now that I kind of have everything spread out, obviously close to the edges, not really flowing over. I mean, there's some spots that are, but now I want to just kind of glide the roller across the surface really light. And if it starts to push a lot of product, that means you have a thick spot there. See how we're getting some product build up? And I'm being really light. I'm almost holding it right on the surface. There's another thick spot. So by doing this a couple times, you can kind of, obviously it's a little thinner over here, so I know it's thick here. I'll just kind of do the same thing and push some of that product to the back here. We want to get it as even as we can. You're never going to get it perfect, but that's the cool thing about the resin is it does self level. So, as long as we get a good thick coat everywhere, it's going to be just fine. Okay, we'll start with that. We can always add more if we want. So we'll take the squeegee. You can use a Bondo squeegee. This is just a, a magic trial, they call it, squeegee. We've cut it down. And we want to be really light at an angle. And we're just going to blend this. See how it doesn't want to blend very good? We have to get this until it's all the way under the surface. And it's going to look gray once it does that.
what we'll do now is we'll take our isopropyl alcohol clear and we're just going to spritz the surface real quick you guys can totally leave it like this um, it looks amazing the dispersing it does give it a little bit more of effect you just want to be careful if you have thin spots or close to these corners where it is getting thinner um, if you spray too much there it can dimple out which we'll probably get some so i'll show you how to how to take care of them if you get them so you want to get this to where it's throwing small little drops everywhere and we're just going to hit the counter like this. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. That was kit number two. If you want to purchase this product for your countertop, click on the link in the description below. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, show us some love, and then turn on your notification so you don't miss any of our videos. See you guys next time.